Good evening, everyone, and a very, very warm welcome to you on this cold day today. I can see Ram's really feeling cold all bundled up. Uh, this is the 29th Spiral of Wisdom Satsang, and from the School of Ancient Wisdom, we really welcome each and every one of you today. Our speaker today is a very well-known storyteller, Gita Ramanujam. And we are really extremely fortunate that she has agreed to be with us today. Thank you so much, Gita, for agreeing to talk to us. And we look forward to your storytelling today. It's strange, but today, yesterday was um, you know, yesterday was the Gita Jayanti, and today is Tulsi Puja, everything connected with Krishna. And we are getting someone called Gita, who will be talking to us about Krishna today. So a very, very warm welcome to you, Gita, and we look forward to your storytelling. Now, as usual, I would like to tell all of you that there will be no disturbances during the session. So I request you to kindly put your audios on mute. And after the session is over, you may either raise your hand and we will unmute you. You can ask your question or you can put your questions in the chat box. Okay? Kindly do mute yourselves from now onwards. Now we will begin with Mr. Ram Menon. Who will start with the school prayer? Ram Menon? The school prayer. Oh, hidden light. Hello. Vibrant in every atom. Oh, hidden light. Shining in every creature. Oh, hidden love. Embracing all in oneness. May each who feels himself as one with thee know he is also one with every other. Thank you, Ram. We now have the interreligious prayers, and we will start with the Gayatri Mantra by Malati. Am I audible? Yes. Mm. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Hi Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Brityoma Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 I'll have the Zoroastrian prayer by Freeni. Yes, ma. Shri Pak Dadar Auramadani Madad Hojoji. Ya Nure Das Gir, Ya Das Tagire Nur, Karam Kar Karima, Rahem Karo Ya Parvardigar, Madad Karo Ya Nabi. Zarthushtra Tari Achai Baname Yazad Bakshayande Bakshayesh Gare Meherban Yata Ahu Vairyo Yata Rakush 
अशाची बंघे ऊष दिंगो शौथे नाम अंग्यूजमसदाय शत्रेम चाय अहुराय आईम दरे गोप्यो डदत वस्तारहम यथा अहु वैर्यो यथा रथुष अशाची बंघे ऊष दिंगो शौथे नाम अंग्यूज मजदाय शत्रेम चाय अहुराय आईम दरे गोप्यो डदत वस्तारहम अशेम बहु वैस्तम बस्ती उस्ता अस्ति उस्ता अहमाई यदशाई बहिष्ताई अशेम सरोश यजत निपना हो जो जी थैंक यू we now have the islamic prayer by dr sana anute na vinay unmute please unmute hello okay yeah, no. yes yeah uh, bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahmanir rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in Amen. We now have the Christian prayer by Ravi Ravi Jarad. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now have the Sikh prayer by Guru Advani. Ekun ka sat naam karta purak nirbha nirvel akal murat ajoni sabang gur prasad jap ad sach. जुगाद सच है भी सच नानक हो से भी सच सोचे सोच न हो जे सोचे लखवार चुप चुप न हो जे लाए रहा लिवतार बुखिया बुख न उतरी जे बन्ना पुरिया भार सहस्यारा पालक हो गई तो एक न चले नाल किव सचियारा हो किव कूरे तुटे पाल हुक्म रजाई चल रहा नानक लिखिया नान वाह गुरु जी का खालसा वाह गुरु जी की फतेह बोले सो निहाल गुड इवनिंग ऑल इट इज विद ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट आई इंट्रोड्यूस मैडम गीता रामानुजम 
who is a nationally and internationally renowned and well acclaimed storyteller <laughs> he is the founder of katha alya international academy of storytelling the only credible and globally recognized academy for storytelling in the world she is a leading social entrepreneur and a shock fellow who believes storytelling to be an effective educational and cultural tool working towards the same she has performed and trained about 85000 people all over the globe apart from being a storyteller geeta is also an educator academician and an administrator she is on the board of several educational institutions and a storytelling centers both in india and abroad so friends now let us sail with geeta in krishna's remembrances a very very dear lord as through her stories over to you madam geeta ramanujam and now all of you fasten your seat belts and get ready for this wonderful story from geeta not audible is that fine hello audible not audible you are audible loud and clear okay loud great yeah here you geeta go ahead okay fine thank you so much sajini thank you anke thank you the entire team and i'm so honored to be here today uh it's been a rainy day cloudy day and i think despite that uh, i'm so thankful to everyone who's on uh, on the session to listen to me and i hope that we can carry back something from the session um pranams to all the people who uh, rendered lovely prayers and to all the listeners who are still joining in um it is meant mainly for adults because uh my story is more of krishna's relationships I, I, exactly uh, if i have to put it right so he is related to all of us in this world but his relationships mainly uh with the women that he was associated with but i'm sure even children who are there can kind of uh, have a a little they can have a, they can listen to a few things from this well Let me begin. Sani pa pa maga sa ga sa. Sani sa ga sa ga ma pa ni. Sani sa ga sa ga ma ga sa. Sa sa pa pa sa da ma pa ni. There was Saraswati River, and she was flowing very gently, trying to look for someone. Sa 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 ri ga. Sa 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 ri ga. Sari ga ri ga ma ga ma pa pa pa. Here I am," said the Hiranya River. Ma 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 pa da, ma 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 pa da, ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa. Oh, I'm also here," said the Kapila River. All the three rivers came dancing, and they were playing with each other. They were playing. Wow! They were so happy to meet each other. Yes. Wow! That was a beautiful sangam, a Triveni sangam. And as they were playing, it was quite late in the evening because someone was very happy to see them. Hmm. He gave a little wink. He sent his red, blushy self. What was this blushing? Right up in the sky. Yes, it was our Surya, and he was so happy to see the three devis playing with each other. And he sent a reddish, orangish, golden hue, a special touch, and they played, and they played, and slowly the clouds began to calm. Correct. And then there was that beautiful. 
Someone was getting ready. Hmm. Yes, I think it's a deer. And he took his bow. Oh. 
and he was a sharpshooter. He looked in the direction of that thumb. Sure shot aim and The arrow came and hit the yes thumb. And that man who was resting he opened his eyes. He felt that pain. The pain, because it was a poisonous arrow, ran through his body. And first it touched his heart. <laughs> and someone came running out of the woods and a lot of sound. That was the only sound heard. And he came running and he said, he knelt down and he said, Krishna. Mukunda Murare. Hey Krishna, what have I done? What have I done? I didn't know it was you, Krishna. I thought it was a deer. Couldn't I have missed my arrow? Couldn't I have missed my aim? Oh, and who are you? I'm j j j j j j I'm Jara, Jara, the hunter, Jara. I've sinned. I've, I've done something wrong. How can I do this? Hey, Mukunda, creator of this world, Dwarka. It's all karma. Worry, Jara. Just don't worry. I'm so sad because you couldn't get the deer because that's what you eat, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Mukunda. And he pulled that arrow out. And the blood, it filled. It filled near that thumb and that leg, especially near the right leg, which was stretched. And the blood poured and he looked at his feet. The Lord Krishna Mukunda looked at his feet and he saw the blood. <clears throat> you will die like a beast. You will be lonely and you will die in agony. You will suffer, Krishna. You will suffer. It was Mata Gandhari's curse. What had Mata Gandhari said? Yes, Krishna remembered. He recalled. There was only one son left. 99 of them had gone. And then Duryodhana from his thigh, the blood just oozed out because you know, you know it was his weak point. You tricked him into wearing something so that when my eyes opened for the first time, I couldn't save my own son. You are a trickster, Krishna. You're a trickster. You're so political. Krishna knew. Because in the Mahabharata, he was a politician, isn't it? But the Bhagavat, he was the Lord. And for the Gita, he was the Guru. But now, everyone called him a lot of names. And Mata Gandhari was very, very angry and livid. And she said, there was only one son left. Even Dukshasan was okay, but not Duryodhana. Krishna, I'll never forgive you for this. You will die. You will die like that worm wriggling. Looked at that blood. Was it true? Was death haunted by life or life haunted by death? And as he looked, the moon was slowly rising. And he remembered, he recalled, as the dark clouds were covering the moon. And it was gray 
blue sky. Wasn't that a beautiful color combination? <laughs> and someone had come to see him just two days ago. Just two days ago, someone had come and seen him. His best friend. She was his Saki. And he remembered the first time. The first time when Krishna was very young. He was standing along the Yamuna River and there came a beautiful woman. Was it another Krishna? Because she also had such beautiful blue and dark gray sheen on her skin. And she was wrapped in a white sari. And she had nothing, no jewels on. She had her hair left out and there was a glow in her eyes. And as she came out and stepped out and as Krishna looked at her, she didn't look at Krishna because she first looked at his feet and she thought, wow, what beautiful Krishna Sundar, what lovely feet can a man have? Look at that lotus feet. And then she looked up and she thought, Hey Krishna, hey Saka. Krishna knew and she also knew. And so he was not married then. And so was she? No, because she was just going for a swayamvar. Well, she looked at Krishna and she knew his mind. And she said, Krishna, Hey Vasudeva, what is the color of your mind, Krishna? Is it purple or green or yellow? What? Tell me the color. And Krishna laughed. <laughs> he said, Saki, you know me so well, Saki. You know me so well. Tell me what you want. Krishna, you must promise me that I should get a husband who has the same lotus feet as you have. Will you promise me that? Sure, Saki, sure. And so they say that Arjuna had the same feet that Krishna had. And of course, when she garlanded, she knew that she was not garlanding one person, but five husbands. She had asked one more from Krishna. I might have five husbands. I have one friend, which is you. And I'm surrendering to you as a friend, Krishna. Sure, Saki, you will always be my friend, said Krishna. And years later, years later, they had met on and off. And of course, at one time, when the Shatranj was played, isn't it? Mm. And Shakuni Mama, uh, mm -hmm. the strategist who took everything away from the Pandavas and who pawned everything. And Yudhishthira also was blind at that time. Bhishma Pitama couldn't do anything and took Shasan. Mm was going to take the last clothing of her when Apat Bandava Krishna the wail the cry Saka my friend you said you'll be there of course Krishna was there Krishna was there to help her to protect her and now about two days ago and two just two days ago Krishna was Relaxing on the swing, the porch of his house. And there came Draupadi. And she came running to say, Hey, Krishna. When she looked at him, she said, Krishna. 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 I can see fear in your eyes. Are you afraid? Because I can feel the fear. 
Hey, Sakai, I've never seen you like this. I, I, I don't know what to say. Because I'm, I'm going away forever. I'm going away to the Himalayas. I, am I leaving you? Or are you leaving me? Hey, Saka, what is this silence? Why are you looking at me like this? Krishna just stared and looked at her. She turned away. She didn't even say goodbye. She couldn't face Krishna. And she left. Oh, Saki. That's you, Saki, I know. That's my Draupadi, isn't it? My friend. And he looked up. He looked from the feet up. And he saw that tree. Every leaf on that people tree seemed to tell Krishna's story. And slowly, the blood went towards the earth. Jada was still sitting down. And Krishna closed his eyes because there was a slight fluttering of the wind, the leaf, as the wind blew. And there was just this one leaf. This one leaf which was... No, oh, Krishna! You always move my soul. Mm. Hey, Kana, you move my soul like that leaf on that tree, just that one leaf. You have so many gopikas. And I know you love to play with everyone, but I'm special, isn't it? Mm. And you know who I'm talking about, right? So... Radha Kabisha Poto Mira Kabisha. Wherever he played the flute, Sham Teri Bansi, Kanaya Teri Bansi, Pukare Radha Nam. Radha Kabisha Poto Mira Kabisha. And Radha would go running. She loved to play tricks. You know, I've always been puzzled. Was Krishna the one who played with all his women? Or did the women actually promote? Because Draupadi had said, Krishna, you think that you are too smart. But do you know, all the women are smarter. Yeah, maybe they were more intelligent, thought Krishna. Even Radha. You know, she would climb up that tree and she would start playing the flute and all the gopikas would come and say, Kana, Kana, Kana. And Krishna would watch because she could disguise herself as Krishna. She could actually dress up like Krishna. And her mannerisms were exactly like Krishna. Tane, tane, kai bol, sunava, mara, savara. Savara Giritari Purab Janamari Preet Purani Javanama Giridari Hey Krishna Mara Savara I got you Krishna You can't play the fool with me you know Radha was so but she would come and sit at near Krishna and say but Krishna Kana you tell that to everyone that, that you love them. What about me? You say I'm special. Of course, because people say Radha Krishna. They don't say Rukmani Krishna, do they? Radha Krishna, because you're part of my consciousness. You're my consciousness, Radha. Part of me. My old soul. So you're very special. Then don't go away from Gokul. Why are you leaving? Yashoda came running. Hey, Kana. Hey, Kamal Nain. Hey, Put. Don't leave us. Please. Yashoda Mai is telling you, Maya, you 
I'll do anything. I won't tie you near that 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 pole anymore. I won't trouble you. You can eat as much makhan as you want. Please, please don't go away, Krishna. Don't look, go away. Don't go. Devaki, Devaki would say, I've just come to know you, Krishna. You have two mothers here. Don't go. Majjana, please. Krishna had to go. He knew. And that parting was very painful. And he had to go. He had to leave them and travel to Mathura. Well, that morning, he was deep in meditation. And there was something very strange that Krishna felt. He woke up and he remembered. There was a flute sound coming through the bamboo in the forest. And he looked. And there she was, the same yearning in her eyes that he had never seen earlier. And she remembered on Janmashtami, Rukmani wanted to please Krishna because he had never spent time with me. She would complain, Krishna, you never spend time with me. You're either with the Pandavas or with Bhishma or with Arjuna or with somebody or the other, but you, you never spend time with me. Sometimes you go to Satya Bama also, but you don't come to me. You don't spend enough time with me. Hey, Ruku. Hey, Ruku. You are my Ardhangi. You are my better half. You are my spouse. Who else would have got this? I'm so privileged to be your husband. That's why I stole you away from your brother also. You know that, no? I kidnapped you. Because I was in love with you. I love you. I, you'll always be a part of me. You're my Ardangi. Ruku, don't fret. And Rukmani would just melt. And then she decided it was Janmashtami. So she wanted to give him a very special gift. She ran to the forest. And she looked at all the flowers and the fruits and the trees. And what can I give Krishna? Ah, yes. His favorite, the flute. And she went deep inside that forest and she found a beautiful bamboo tree. It was as if the bamboo was saying, take me, gift me to Krishna. She broke the best one. She made her own flute and she carefully wrapped it with satin cloth. She put tassels and she also had a parrot with all the precious jewelry attached to the side of that flute. She, of course, had a peacock feather and she had decorated that flute and she said, it must be the best flute that Krishna has ever played. Let me give him a surprise. And she put that flute exactly in the doorstep where Krishna would enter first near the swing. He loved playing on that swing. Krishna did come and he looked and he picked up that flute and he looked at it from the left to the right and from left, right to left. And Rukmani was watching his eyes. Yes. He likes it. He dropped it down. He, he didn't drop it. He kept it down. And Rukmani followed him. He went out. He went out. He walked. He picked up the conch. And, and that was the conch. <laughs> that he played because 
the 18 day war of kurukshetra was just beginning krishna listened to that bamboo sound and wondered what did rukmini feel i could never play that flute again i didn't even see or feel what she felt but now i'm able to feel it and so rukmini knew that morning that there was something not really right but she was in another chamber you know and she was watching this and who came there krishna's best friend he came and hugged krishna and he was always very positive he was a friend philosopher guide some people say he was more intelligent than krishna and he was uddhava so uddhava came and hugged krishna that day. but again when he hugged him he felt what had happened and he sobbed his heart out he cried on krishna's shoulders and he knew what was happening don't go krishna it's not time yet it's not yet time work has gone every person has gone uddhava it is going to be the end of this yuga i'll come with you krishna you can't leave your heart don't leave your heart behind i'm your heart and krishna said no uddhava you have a task you have to represent me you have to go to badrinath to badrikashram and be there for me we have to part ways now but i'm always going to be with you krishna you know what you're doing isn't it krishna just smiled well rukmini was watching this from a distance but she couldn't make out really what was happening and the next thing that we know is krishna leaving and giving one last glance to rukmini and as he walked through those woods he remembered the childhood the markam his mother yashoda maiya the jail the kalinga kamsa killing battle cries ow shrieking sounds the love the beauty the moon was rising and he suddenly thought oh i can see my shadow now because i'm still a human being and in that shadow he felt there was someone who always followed me like this shadow satya bhama she could win my heart by just putting one tulsi isn't it and she had won my heart she never expected anything from me as he walked we know what happened nirguna saguna karam samrida bhubaram murahara nanda kumaram smarahara sukakaram rasakrida mandita veshtita vrijalalanam madhye tandava mandita sarasi jadalanayanam he walked kusuma karita ranjita mandasmita madanam panivara kaliya damana pakshi chwara gamanam and the bells in the temples began to ring jay deva jay deva vande gopalam jay deva jay deva vande gopalam dang dang and he walked and he sat under that tree and you know what happened and now he could hear the bells in the temples ringing and jay jagadish hare 
स्वामी जय जगदीश हरे ओ या देन स्लोली द साउंड सीम टू फेड इट वाज लेट ऑलमोस्ट द मॉर्निंग टाइम एंड ही सॉ जरा he could have gone into samadhi but he wanted to feel that pain and jara he said jara why don't you go and get me some water and jara ran ran to get water this was the moment that krishna was waiting for he looked at the waters the hiranya kapila and saraswati playing with each other till late in the night are these the tears of draupadi he thought have i hurt people and when he felt every feeling that he felt went into all the elements the breeze took it the fire took it the blood took it the earth took it the leaves on the trees took it the space the moon the sun everything was on the present everyone said krishna 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 it was only krishna everywhere everyone felt him everyone took him everyone absorbed him and they say krishna left his whole armor and face in the entire elements but not just the five elements because he left his soul with the sixth element that is human beings before everyone could approach him before the dawn was breaking he closed his eyes he had cleansed his memories yo shanti hi antariksh shanti hi aap shanti hi oshadaya shanti hi शांति 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 सोल द साइज ऑफ अ थम लेफ्ट अ ब्यूटिफुल बॉडी and went up to merge and liberate and spread all over the world into nature into human beings into the rivers into the pebbles into the stones and that krishna consciousness has remained till today in our hearts and in our minds it will always remain with us forever thank you thank you so much that was really awesome would you like to take a few questions yeah sure sure does anyone have any questions please unmute and ask geeta i would like to tell uh, and ask geeta ji that uh, i remember the uh, story telling session when i was just 8 years old i can't hear you very a little well. louder please or put it on the chat yes okay. i'll put it on okay okay is there anyone else in the meanwhile who'd like to ask questions uh, good evening ma'am this is ambuja valli here yes ambuja valli yeah i missed the beginning part of your session because you were trying to log in uh, i i just okay enjoying all the you know the uh, references you cars and uh, uh, it was such a uh, you know it was such a devotional experience that i had though i was only for the later part of the thing one thing okay. i want to know like what would you suggest um, the resources when you are dealing with you know hindu and the krishna story um, okay any god so, uh, stories okay so this particular story was meant for uh, an adult audience uh, and for me i was thinking right from my childhood uh, krishna has always been uh, um, uh, you know krishna rama all gods but i wanted to uh, see uh, 
how it would be if Krishna was a human being and if he, you know, would be able to relate as a human being, would he have the same sufferings? He was also very lonely when he was, he, he, when he was born and when he died both. And we all feel very lonely at times. And this feeling had grown in me a bit during this COVID times. And I was trying to imagine that even gods are not beyond that. So I began to read a bit about Krishna. And I think I must have uh, read about five or six books uh, from which I took a little references like Yagneseni, uh, Krishna by Bhavana Somaya, and then uh, uh, Yuganta, and so many other things. But then I also wanted to uh, add my own little masala to it, which I always do. And that's what I did by uh, interpreting the, I mean, taking the shlokas and the little songs and also the feelings. I think feelings come from the storyteller's heart, isn't it? I believe so much in that. Yeah. So that's what I did uh, when I uh, told this story right now, Ambu uh, I would, I, I would send you the story because you didn't uh, listen from the beginning, but it was mainly yeah. dealing with Krishna's relationships, especially with his women. You know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amit Jawali, for such sessions in future. I have a Questions? clarification. Yes. Can I ask? I'm Janikiram. Janikiram. Uh, yes. Madam Geeta Subramaniam, you have outstanding accomplishment, very impressive uh, record. Uh, my clarification is you have trained, I read about 85,000 students or 85,000 in different levels. What I would like to know is, what are they expected to do after the trading? How are they contributing and what is the outcome? Um, I don't want to pat my own back, but if you know that uh, uh, when I started storytelling, it was a very new profession. Everyone said, what, who is a storyteller? What is the storytelling all about? But today, if you see, uh, we have a world of storytellers in India itself. And 90% of them have been trained by us at Katalia, both through workshops and through groups. And they're all storytellers today. Uh, they have taken it up as a profession. They also use it as a value addition for empowerment of women, for training. So now I think storytelling is uh, everywhere, uh, whether it's an advertisement, whether it's writing, reading, so uh, through our courses, we are able to uh, cover a few points. Uh, in fact, uh, even during this COVID time, I'm very proud to say that our courses do go full, uh, including the next one, which is December 3rd. Uh, we all already have 18, we take only 20. So we have already 18 participants. So I think there is a lot of scope when a storyteller wants, a, not only as a storyteller, but as a value addition to all other public speaking forms. So I hope I've answered your question. Hello. Questions? Okay, there's something on the chat. Someone has said, thank you so much, Geeta ma'am, for a wonderful story of Krishna. This is Lipika from Bhubneshwar. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. The next person there says, thank you, Gita, for the story of Lord Krishna, which I could visualize. I, too, would like to learn the art of storytelling. Would you kindly okay. help me? My name is Falugune Parekh. She's given a okay. number. I would like to participate for the third December session. Oh, wonderful. Maybe they can write to us at katalia at gmail.com. Just uh, if we can, I if we can only add that. It's not easy to do, but uh, you can just add it in the uh, in the chat. Uh, they can refer to. Uh, they can write to us, and we can definitely uh, respond to it. Vasudev Narayan, thank you. Yes. Now, and someone else your... has written. The facial expressions are a treat. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Now, someone wants to know, do you have any YouTube uh, links? Lots, lots of YouTube links. So uh, you can definitely go to Katalia Story House. Uh, Katal if you put Katalia Storytelling on YouTube, you'll get all our YouTube links. There's someone here, Rachika here. 
you took us to the magical enchanting world of krishna love the connections thank you ma'am thank you rasika thank you as always she's a big great fan of mine and i'm so happy that she has <laughs> okay thank you all right anybody else who'd like to ask some questions yeah so deva has put it i think write to us uh, at kataliagmail.com and we have a lot of programs in katalia we'd love to share them with you it's put on the chat by the way Anyone else would like to ask questions? Kindly unmute and ask. Thank you, Rohini. Thank you for joining. <laughs> okay. Someone has written, you were mesmerizing as always, divine. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Anyone else? Kindly unmute and ask. All right. Is there no questions? Could you tell us how you got into storytelling, Gita? Yeah, so it's a long story, but to cut the long story short, yes, uh, I think the, I was a teacher, uh, and uh, I used to use a lot of stories because I grew up with stories. So I used to use uh, stories as uh, uh, to transmit concepts to children to make it easier uh, in my history and English classes. And what did happen is um, I finally took over as a, uh, the job as a librarian. Children not reading anything. So I thought the best way to motivate them to read would be uh, to tell them a story. And that's how I, I, I started telling stories on the books and I would stop when the bell rang and they would come running to ask me uh, what happened next. And I would say, if you read the book from that particular page, you will get the rest of the story. So that's how, uh, you know, I start, I began storytelling to motivate children to read. And of course, you know, uh, destiny plays a great role. I believe a lot. I, I believe completely in destiny. And I believe in the Sharanagati principle also of complete surrender. So I thought nature has its way of determining what is meant for you. And I think I was not wrong because suddenly in 1996, there was a person who said, why don't you have a workshop of storytelling? Because I was teaching in the Valley School and they asked me to uh, have a one week workshop in the city. And that's when somebody uh, wrote about it in the newspaper. Immediately. Okay, and that's how the storytelling began. How the storytelling began. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, uh, there are two more. One person has written lovely session, could visualize every bit of it. Thanks so much. Another Thank one has you. written, I had heard of Geeta Ramanujam and today I am happy to see her and listening to her story art. It was a fantastic session, Geeta. Krishna came alive for me through your beautiful storytelling. <laughs> one more, Geeta ma'am. Wonderful session on Tulsi Festival. Lived every oh. second of the story. Thank you for the story. Wow. So <laughs> uh, uh, people have really enjoyed it. And thank you so much. As I said, yesterday yeah. was Gita Jayanti. Today is the Tulsi Festival. And right. we had the right person and the right topic. Any more questions? Yes. There's one more which says, divine as always. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> thank okay. you. I must thank uh, all the listeners who have joined uh, because it's uh, it's quite a, it's, it was a windy day today and I was wondering. So thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, and thank you, Sajini, for this wonderful opportunity. No, um, no, I, thank you so much. We are so grateful <laughs> to you. Thank you. And we hope that sometime you know, when yes. we open up post COVID, you'll be able to come to the school. It's a beautiful place. See the premises and uh, do maybe a workshop or a short uh, session for us. That would be wonderful. I would love that. That would be great. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Anyone else who wants to ask questions? No. Anyone else? Someone else says it was divine. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, everyone's enjoyed it so much. It was really wonderful. And uh, you've taken time off to be with us. So that is really so good. Thank you so much. Thank now, you. if there are no 
uh, if there are no questions, then uh, we will move on. Let me see this one. Yeah, so, thank you for hosting such a, yeah. All right. So uh, before, before we move on, I'm going to ask someone else anything. Anything else you would like to say? Because I thought it was absolutely marvelous, you know, your facial expressions, the sounds you make, the eyes, the body language, the tone of voice. I mean, just everything kept us all riveted to the story. <laughs> Thanks Thank so you. much. Now, Thank there's you. one more person who's written. Uh, awesome. Awesome Gita. Right. So that's uh, someone else. All right, so if there are no questions, then we can end the session. Is that okay? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Gita? Uh, no, I think uh, uh, I'd love to come sometime. And also, uh, if anyone is still uh, interested in joining our course, uh, they can right. always write to us. Yeah, so. That would be great. Yeah, so I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. I enjoy the way you blended the music, the poetry, uh, as Sajani said, your expressions, your your tonality, superb. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kashmira. 